at the market, a very interesting uh, Tuesday. The market was up 1.26% to start the new trading week. So let's get a sense of today's trading direction. Uh, Ruchi Mifakaejo from Enterprise Stockbrokers. Good morning. Thanks for coming through on the phone. Good morning. Um, th that was quite a massive uh, Monday regarding the market. Look at the consumer goods trumping every other segment of the market. Uh, how did this happen? Investors are actually seeing new values in this sector of business. Uh, given the trend so far, it's apparent that uh, that is uh, the sector that is most sustainable at this point in time because uh, they've gotten over the usual trend of uh, uh, raw material price inflation by reason of the um, increase in, I mean, the depreciation of the Naira. They've gotten over that, and then they find a new price level for their products. And some of these are just being uh, uh, acceptable to the uh, invest, I mean, consuming public. And also, uh, the, the extent of competition from the uh, imported products in the same group of uh, uh, consumables, I think that they are actually having their own, um, uh, that they are actually having their way by at least being competitive enough at this time. So I think uh, things are just really happening for them. And they are really, that is exact sector, including uh, industrial goods that are actually adding value to the market at this point in time. Uh, so, in your, in your opinion, uh, wrote to me that these uh, consumer goods, uh, if you look at a few of them, uh, uh, looking at rice issue, for example, or USC, and Nigeria, and a few others, do you think this, uh, the FX easing, the ban on 41 items, and all of that are coming together uh, to help this company say, look, we want to ask shareholders for, existing shareholders for more, for more money, uh, then we, we're sure we can get it because things are looking good in our own segments of the market. Exactly. Things are actually looking good. And I believe by the time um, that they are through with the right issue, the cost of funds to this uh, business segment is going to be very much reduced. And we are going to see that translating to uh, profit for the company. And uh, the ease of doing business when uh, the equity debt ratio is not as high as it used to be before, then definitely investors are going to have the last last concerning it. So we are yet in the beginning for these, uh, uh, these, uh, for these uh, uh, stocks. And I believe that by the time they are through with the offer, and we are seeing that uh, reflected in their next auditor report, I mean, for the uh, full year, in the, I mean, uh, the December 31st, on this report, which will come out next year, investors are definitely going to be five this stuff and it's definitely going to be in the uh, northward, northward direction. Okay, so it's Wednesday, uh, middle, or middle of the week. Uh, the market is already open for business. Uh, so take us through the opening uh, performance of the market as what the, uh, the numbers are looking like. Uh, well, the numbers are looking good. And uh, we're talking about consumer goods. Uh, there is a renewed interest in the um, in Dangote flat. It's actually stopping the general start this early morning. And uh, the extent to which the market has moved this morning is still ranging in, uh, in the, during the positive, but very marginal, uh, exactly at 0.02% zero zero at this present time. So uh, the likes of uh, Dangote flat are the ones added by the Dangote, Flower, Naco, PI Living. But on the loser's chart, we have a Unilever, SBN, and a, con a Continental Insurance. So those ones are losing marginally as well. So I think uh, for now, the market is still very good to go. And I believe that uh, the uh, momentum uh, that you've seen on Monday and on Tuesday, you're not even going to go. Because I see movement in the uh, industrial goods sector today, which will compensate for whatever loss. I mean, the comments from any other sector. Uh, Rosimi, thank you very much. Uh, and, and a lot of times, and always I love your positive attitude uh, to the market and how you swing it. Thank you very much for uh, bringing the program to a close on a very nice, positive note for today. Thank you very much, everyone. This is Wednesday, uh, the midweek. We'll be back tomorrow, the 10th of August. I am Bosun Mafaya. Well, thank you for watching wherever you are, and goodbye from Lagos.